position for him to station himself up and see if he can kill the players who could be on that main hatch. And yes, he is in a prime position now to cover that hatch and he can feed this information. So his side, his defense can just play as though no one's on the hatch. And speaking of the hatch, he gets his kill. Noah goes down. This is going to be a big hit to the ITB attack. Oscar not reacting to that either. Still playing upstairs. We've got Kenny. He's threatening on the breach, but the Toxic Babe canisters are choking out the round. And look at Benja. He's gone unchecked all round. He's picked up three kills and not received a single shot. Good eye on as to where they are. Of course, you can peek out onto the Solace as well with that gadget. Creed's going to come to blows here. He's just going to get a great backstab onto Benja. Benja really unaware about that. I think the audio from the Ram above doing oh. no favors. Doki immediately there with the trade, though. Hazar, how do you miss that? Should have been another free kill for ITB, but it's actually end up with them in the man's position. They've lost Azur, They've lost Oscar. Yingo from G2. Still, they sit. With that man advantage and there is still a player all the way in the top floor it's going to be virtue up there on the fan rear attackers have recovered actually going to be a friend with them as well two players upstairs but everyone else though from g2 happy enough just to sit in the site but you're surprised that kenny's not dead here he's getting pressured from all these different angles a risky play to try and do that vertical action as there is still roamers upstairs for g2 like we mentioned and noah by himself gets a nice kill there onto uno will push in deep it's going to be fan though can't see what's happening in the site for him. And oh, he sees that man drop down. But is he aware of that player swinging from copy? No, he ain't. Need to play, but he's going to be pestered, though, by those echo cameras. And I don't think he cares, though. He's going to keep moving, though, as ITB again are just going to try and hit the site oh so quick. But they've lost again two players right off the get go. Ying is still alive. Kenny has the Gadellas in his hands. Oh, he just seen a glimpse of Alamo, but didn't pull the trigger. Oscar is taken in towards main stairs and Doki went for a swing onto the Ying, but that hasn't worked. And as a place where you can go aggressive and just take down that Echo oh so easily. The power of the Monty. Stay behind me. Real good space taken there from Azza. He's really giving G2 something to think about here. Benja going to be next in the firing line. Alamo is going to be there to assist him, but Azza, he's not stopped yet. Able to take Benja down. Two versus two now. Was in. He can tuck himself in behind the desk, but he knows he can't get the plant down because of that solace below with the shotgun. Uno recognizing that tries to rotate, but eventually gives himself up. You've got to hop up onto the table now and try and get that plant down. Still got 30 seconds left to do it. And Alamau, he's just going to be left trying to shoot through that floor as a trying to get a plant off here. His shield should do a lot of the hard work in covering him. And this is a great spot here from ITB then because they're running out of time. 40 seconds and into the breach. They have hatches open. But as we can see, there's still a lot of problems to solve. Two sorts of babe canisters in the hands of Virtue. A C4 as well. A hatch drop here is surely only ever going to end one way. As G2 are really stuck into these positions. I think Doki's even on the flank at the moment as well. Creed, he's pushed himself down main. He's able to take out Benja. A hatch drop in from Azza. He has the diffuser, but he is alone. Virtue, he's going to be able to shut Creed's down. And another kill coming in from Alamau. Azza, he's the man to watch right now. He does have the kit, but in a two versus three, it isn't going to be easy here. Has to come off the plant. No option but to stick with the timer hitting zero. G2 happy enough to swim as well. Hear the call. Gonna work out for ITB, see if they can pick up this roamer, and they do. However, they lose Noah in the midst of that, not having a good winning nearly every gunfight that they come into. And in Alamar's case, he's won all of them. 6 0 at the moment. Oscar gonna try and open something up here, sends the bees down. Of course, losing Noah early, it means you've lost your book, so you're going to struggle to get a lot of this floor open. Yeah, you can place breaching charges, but it's not a surefire way of ripping that floor. And Benja, he's going to add on to the pain here. Oscar goes for a drop, oh. immediately taken out by Benja. Kenny from above is going to find himself long, but he's going to drop into the Viper's Nest. Oh, oh, God, that's, oh hello. Doki. I mean, look, I'm not a big fan of the old CEO jump one for one. out one for one trade. I'm just, yeah. you know, I, especially whenever... He's in the Warden, and to be, he's quite lucky that ITB haven't brought the Ying, but it's something that ITB have shown a lot, is bringing in that Ying. That's a risky thing for Doki, just toss himself away as Warden. Obviously, he won't know that there's no Ying in the board, but I still think it's a very bold play to go for it. Guys knocking around that he's able to uh, get on. Virtue doing his best to keep himself safe in this position, but the player out on Repel, it is going to be difficult for him. 
That's going to be a bye-bye oh. nade. You don't often see players die into nades anymore. Of course, we have lost the ability to cook frag grenades. So they just go off on a standard fuse timer. Good work here from Into the Breach. Getting them into vulnerable positions and they're able to pick them off. Double CEO jump out though. And Alamar actually might make it back alive. The problem is Uno's now going to be on his own and Into the Breach needs to capitalize on this. Oh, well. Get some of these walls open. We heard that mirror window getting popped out as well there, but Alamau going to be the first to see success from the hatch. Able to take Oscar down. You don't want to be losing your smoke in that final minute because this is when things are going to start getting pretty heavy inside of the site. The B is going to cut anyone off from being able to throw a C4 without being exposed. This mirror window is still causing some problems. Uno, he's only got two... Ex Kairos Teller's left here. So he's going to need to try and shoot his way through that door, Kenny. Just going to freeze off those stairs. That's going to give Doki a bit of a hard time making his way down there. Full white flash for Alamal. That's not really what you want to be seeing. Kenny, I think he got caught on the camera there. Creed is able to take Virtue down. As Uno still trying to fight his way in through the site, but his team are doing a lot of the heavy lifting around him. Noah, he can now turn his attention toward these main stairs as the plant starts to go down. There is a C4 available from Creed's, but can he get in position to throw it? No, Alamal's holding. Two rounds ITB have won have been on these attacks and to see ITB now go upstairs. Uh, it's a bit of a head scratcher. I would have thought that maybe they'd have another go at the basement and just uh, go a little bit more aggressive in the Rome game, perhaps. And look at this from G2. Just windows all day of the week using the Grim, like you mentioned, can just cover off all these different angles. But ITB, though, they fought back. They've got kills back in their favor. And it's G2 who are sitting thinking, what just happened? However, Alamo in the heart of the bomb site will find Oscar. It's going to be a 2v2, but Azur, he's going to be the key man to watch. He's on the Solus. He can deny from below if he chooses. Kenny in towards Square. A great, a great swing over towards Alamal. Against you only a couple of rounds ago. Azza going to get the info here. Going to go for the shots through the wall, but they won't be successful. Virtue, low HP, the same as Kendrew. Got to be cautious here. Can't even afford to step in one goo mine. He's got no lion scans left, but he does have three flat direct trade. Virtue, is he going to be given the first opportunity? Yes, he is. He picks Kenny off. We spoke on how Kenny was oh so low, and Kenny's jumped the gun a little bit there. Virtue, he gets some good damage in onto Azza, but eventually will fall. Time enough for him to easily be cut off. But still doing a good job of this information gathering. As Virtue starts to open up some of those longer angles. We do have G2 bringing a Monty this time as well. Looking to bully that wrong game. Creed is going to go for it. Is he going to get the chance? Yes, he is. Patience pays. Waits for Virtue to hop on into the drone. And Wait. But uh, that's what it feels like. It looks like it's just going to be a drop from G2 and hope they can stick the plant. Well, Alamal's gone for the drop. Benja's accompanied him, but he's going to fall straight away. Alamal able to trade it back, but caught inside of the FNAP right now. Doki, he's going to fall and able to revive. Kenny, next on the list there. Alamal, he might be in the site. He might have the kit, but your teammates aren't winning the gunfights. It's going to be a pretty rough time. You see those impacts raining through onto him right now. He takes a boatload of damage left on about 30 HP or so. Uno, nowhere really to be seen. Eventually hits the hatch drop. But Noah has already removed Alamal from the equation. The diffuser cold and Uno's location known. Insta Breach can play this one fairly passively. Noah, he's going to get taken out there. He's gathered a bit of info for his team. And you better hope that Kenny and Oscar aren't in a peaking mood either. They know they've got the diffuser down in the... Yep. Creed's, is he going to fight? Oh, it's a freebie. It's a freebie for Creed's. Look at him go. Please shoot. Don't play with your food. There we go. Creed's is still on the loose. Is he going to get another one? Yes, he will. Benja falls again. Sloppy drone work from G2. Very poor indeed. And they're really letting themselves down. Noah, where's he came from? Finds Uno before being traded off by Alamau and Doki alike. And now we're into a 2v3. Half the round gone. And G2 have lost over half the round. that have fallen. He's not done a terrible job so far, but Creed's oh. still on the loose. Look at him go. Shuts him down. Three. You said you wanted a little bit more confidence from him. That's exactly what we've seen. Alamar going to go for a drop, wondering if the rest of the defenders are going to be elsewhere, searching for shadows. And he finds a great shot there onto Azza. This is a difficult retake now. It's almost as if the tables have turned. Into the breach needs to be really cautious not to let him get the plant down here. He's going to send a couple of bees out there just for a bit of an early warning system and potentially start a plant. Creed's can obviously see this on the scanner. He's going to be able to call it out to Oscar as well. Hits the drop positions very quickly. 
Mistron? Oh, please, no. We've just questioned the drone and we've just said that we need to be finding out where these players are. Oh, and Uno dear. is giving the game away. It's Creed's again in the hot seat. Oh, oh it's a no. serious, serious Miss drone. Oh, maybe not. Uh, uh, uh. Hello? Uh, nah, those plants going down, but it's just so difficult. This bomb site just really restricts your movement as a defender. And, you know, right here, look, Kenny, where can he sit that's safe? Nowhere. And this is where G2 can set up the crossfires and just pick them off one by one. Brilliant bit of drone base in there from G2. Not sure it was who was manning the drone, but just leading Kenny into the crossfire, following the breadcrumb trail. Virtue going to be inside a main lobby as the wall starts to get opened up now. Another lion scan just to continue that pressure coming in. Benja is below, ready, looking for a catch, but it's Doki who's on the triple. Noah trying to hold it down here at the top of Beepers. Two players are going to be allowed to cross, and Alamount can start to look to get that plant down. 50% down right now and almost certainly going to be secured. Noah with the rotation will find one onto Benji, but he's going to be known and immediately taken out and dealt with. Oscar Tranton. We'll see how it fares right now. Alamount was on the Amaru again for a while, but what a shot from Creed. Oh, 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 from G2 here. Alamount's going to find one, make it two. He's had a lights out game so far and he's showing no signs of slowing down. Noah. Levels it out to a three versus three, but look at Benja's positioning at the moment. The big problem for G2 is they don't have the case. I imagine the case was in the hands of Uno and potentially could be on the ground. Oh, I'm going to have to dip out and recover it. Fortunately, it wasn't too far away, but the defenders now trying to attack into the site, and we all know that that is a very difficult place to be. As a You've got an opportunity now to try and flank and play spoil, but you've got to team up with Noah to do it. Alamount going to start to get that diffuser down. Noah, he can choose to move through, but the beepers are going to give the game away for him here. Azza too needs to try and make his way into this site as they have roamed too far. Does give you that ability to play some slightly longer angles on the defense. Alamount kicks things off with a kill over onto Noah. A softly, softly approach that we see into the breach going for. You know, we've got Crouch walking upstairs. We've got, you know, players just trying to make something happen. Hasn't worked out so far. Virtue going to get stunned out there and picked up by Creed's. A brilliant pinch and push there from both ITV. Well, from both Creed, sorry. Oh. And the player on those library stairs. But a big game. There's no one you'd rather have than Alabama. You know, that's just facts. Benji ripped out the castle and gets the freebie on the Oscar even drops all the way down as well was thinking that maybe someone would swing him from the window and Dixie I mean I say safer it certainly is a safer route but it works for him there now he can rotate back up to the site so good play there from reloading Benji and that just makes it oh so more difficult for ITV You really wonder what the plan was at this stage in the game because we've just seen into the breach players going one by one Alamo eventually losing engagement there it's taken down as they're going to try and stun out, but he knows he got to be careful in and around that bathroom window. Oh, wow. just the tip of the ponytail, but oh. still gets binned, Kenny! Just shouldn't be happening. Honestly, I think there's a, a, a buzz about the, uh, you know, the APAC region having a few issues with getting breaches open in some of the games today, but EU, hold your beers as they're making it look bad as well. However, got the back hatch to drop if he needs to. Alamau, good luck to try and get rid of that. No. no. Claymore, Benja, surely you could have been able to see that. Three kills for Noah before he's shut down by Virtue. Hold a minute. He's able to take down Oscar as well. Virtue allowed to reposition now. Still a minute left on the clock, so an eternity. And with the diffuser in Kenny's hand, it's going to be very difficult. There's no such thing as a poorly placed frost map. There's something to remember. Doki is going to kick things off. It takes Azza out. I think that might have been inside a mud hazard opened up the wall into uh, the window sorry inside but he's just got himself into harm's way quite quickly yeah i think it was in towards mud g2 trying to apply that pressure early on but creeds again this guy honestly he has been the most exciting player to watch for ITV. What is just Alamo doing? the confidence he has what on earth is that from alamal had no idea the players just sitting there rattling through. We'll be able to open up library hatch or as though that is going to get blown. But Oscar with the jumping at the same time. Brilliant time in there. Doki is going to get himself involved though. Picks one and wow. two. Look at him go. But it's a bad idea to get some of these operators. Oh, almost for Benja. A nice idea. But how 
on earth was Oscar? Yeah, that's a no one right there. How did he know that Benji was going to do that? I mean, Benji played the same position last time, waiting for exactly this. Doki has made his way back upstairs. Isn't paying any mind to that lion scam, though. Oscar is going to continue as they're doubling down. Doki now all alone. Barely made it out of double there on Mez as the plant starts to go down. This is going to be incredibly difficult. Sends it outside. Lion scan coming in as well, trying to assist that. Barricades open. Great shot from Noah. Absolutely bins Doki, but immediately traded out there by virtue. Oscar trying to join in now. There's so much pressure and focus on this Alamal player inside a master. Free fire shots go out. C4 dodged quite nicely. We're on the second. Chin towards dining. Kenny has slipped his way into trophy of Benja, where no, he's not. And this is what I was talking about from ITB. There might be an option for them just to walk in to the site and completely ignore the players above. How much vertical presence, though, does G2 have? Have they got their angles open? I mean, Uno has the shock, and he can just open them up as freely as he wants, but the information needs to be key, and just don't let this diffuser go down. I say that, though. Kreese has got it down. G2. Trying to shoot his way down, but he's going to get into a real tricky engagement right here as Kenny has to try and work into the site and cut that wine cellar in half. Keep it barriers are going to be a slight issue for ITB. And look at this from Kenny. He had the diffuser towards Trench, but clearly they've seen something we haven't, and they can just stroll in through the site. Oscar of a triple. Uno, oh, be careful. The Claymores that had got Benja previously aren't going to catch Uno out this time. But Kenny's getting the plant down. It's complete bait from ITB. G2 are active. thinking all the pressure is going to be coming in from Trench, but that's not going to be the case. ITB have just walked in. Through that main breach, have got the diffuser down, and Alamal, with pretty much all the smokes in his pockets as well, he's been bamboozled, has to go for the retake, a difficult one at that, gets shot from behind, moves in towards connector, smoke gets tossed out in towards blue, but there's a player close right beside him, just playing for his kills now, because there ain't no way he's getting this round one for G2. Pretty soft and, as well, and just extend right, that rotation. Now let's try and work these walls open. That's not going to work, unfortunately. Kenny just placed a little bit low and the impact a touch high. Sight wall open. This round has disappeared, though. There's only 45 seconds left on the clock. Still, lots of potential here for G2 to get this plant down. And even more so now as Benja shuts Azza. That's those Maestro Evil Eye cameras locked off. No C4s available and no smokes. It's going to be a tough old 30 seconds. Oh, Kenny and Impact is able to take down that diffuser. Alamal cannot get the plant down, but everyone else, though, from GT are piling on the kills. There goes Creed's up above, and the remaining two players are going to be in the mid floor. Upstairs, presence has been forfeited, and Benja takes full advantage of that. They drop into the hatch and down for holding in towards library. Having the floor is to counteract them. It'll be a good pickup. G2 now looking to execute in towards that top floor. A quick backstab from Alamal. Will he find anyone upstairs? Has F2 in hand. Oh, Oscar, I love this. A nice prone and catches Alamal by surprise. That's great situational awareness there from Oscar. And Virtue all by his lonesome in the 1v4. Diffuser called in the middle of library. Virtue aware that Oscar can still be lurking. And Oscar does a dance on the table. And finds him as well. A great round there from Oscar. Playing an adaption of a trench hold. You're going to have to use the fire instead to burn out the player in towards trench. And they do that oh so easily. Look That's how quickly they dismantle that hold. There is a triple ADS and a shield set for that, Ollie. But, oh, wait. It's a capital bolt. The ADSs don't work against the arrow. Really do any of that. The utility was used perfectly. It's nowhere else really that you're going to get, going to get good value out of that. We see a trade come out there as Azza takes Doki oh, before being immediately taken out. Noah in the thick of it, caught out in the smoke. Jim Kenny couldn't have lent in the glasses for a minute, but he too is sent down. Creed's not a lot of health to speak of here. He's going to have some info, but G2, they don't need to do anything too fancy right now. They can just get this plant down and hold it from outside. Already establishing those positions. Might get a chance on the play. And aggro onto bathroom as well. But ITB doing a good job here of forcing G2 to make a move. Alamal makes it and it's the wrong one. Steps straight into Azza's crossfire. 
Avenger as well now gets tagged up by half and finished off. Creed's picking up a kill in the mid here. They've got the ability to watch just about everything. No, we're going to hear the hop in. Able to take Uno down. I'm not entirely sure how he crossed from Virtue there. Virtue was on solo pretty much the whole round. Just throwing anything we can at this to try and make something happen. I'm not sure what a Selma on the door frame will do, but Virtue, he'll find no, his exit. No, he'll be kicking himself for that. To just almost try and play there. Oh my word, Kenny just tanks a nade. Just get up the stairs, run away from that. And this is what I mean. Look, he can just stand there and just ying it out. You know, they can't push this as long as the clash is there. They can still get kills, though. To Bender and Virtue picking up one each there. Creeds trying to shoot that candela. He will eventually find it. But Kenny, look how low he is. It's not where you want your clash to be, really. Twitch drone might do the job here, and Alamal knows it. Luckily for Kendrew, Creeds is there to assist. Shoots out the shock drone and keeps Kendrew alive for a little bit longer. Of course, another Candela is going to get sent on through. And Virtue going to be the player to try and make something happen off the back of it. He's going to get head to head with Creed there. Catches him as he comes around the corner. Kenny, you haven't got a lot of health to speak of, but you've got to try and get some value now out of that shield. Virtue not paying any attention to the clash though. He's interested in the player inside of storage. Just not getting out the distance of the Razor Bloom. Azza going to be downed. Uno downed as well. Kenny forced to pull out the gun. Finishes that one kill. Diffuser cold in the side, but 30 seconds left. A double peak. He picks to do what you like, essentially. We've still got three Ram Boogie gadgets. We can still rip open the floor upstairs. Alamau. Could be watching me. onto blue. Maybe he's just waiting for someone to deployed. retake that position and watch the stairs. Don't want to risk any sort of flank here, or I don't know. Maybe G2 aren't confident that everything is clear. They're really going belt and braces right now. The book, fortunately, Benja doing a lot of the work there. Just got a glimpse of the feet. Obviously, it's more easily seen for us with the highlights on. But Oscar, he's going to win that engagement on those library stairs. Alamar was right to be cautious of that and oscar might find himself a second here if he lands his shots and he does how the turns have tabled here four versus three now and only 15 seconds it's gonna be a desperate hash drop straight into the waiting arms of kenny itb could do it and he could take us to oregon the plan going down from uno but he is the last man standing a shotgun at close range they do leave the hatch open so they can drop down if they do feel pressured Okay, aggressive in towards green door and he catches Noah by surprise. Just waits for the right moment and there you go from G2. This is what they always do. I'm surprised yourself in towards blue, in towards pillar as quick as you can and hopefully the Ying can do so. But Virtue is on the ward and they have a counter to it, but it does look as though that Virtue's in the position to really stop that. Instead, it's just going to be the Gandela's being stopped by simple as simple as an ADS and a shield that can't get through that. Oh no, Creed is fired off down the stairs. Where do ITB go now? Azza's got a chance to try and make something happen, but look at the Kiba barrier. It's almost a one-way that's been created there, and Virtue's going to just aggress up a little bit. Creed hops over the stairs, picks up one, but Benji there with the immediate trade. Kenny on no health, Azza the same. Scrambling to find anything. The plan will start to go down as they have managed to pull it off. They are extending the clock here. Weird. I'm not sure why we're seeing Selma's used to burn laser gates. Hello? That was a, it was a strange Hello. bit of free cam for a moment there. <laughs> a jump scare for the one from there. We got Uno upstairs inside the Yeah, I'm not sure why they used the Selma there to clear the laser gate. We've got stuns and all that sort of stuff for that kind of job, but maybe we're looking for something a little bit quicker here as the Candelas and the Capital would suggest. And look at Creed. He's okay. straight into white. The plant's going down. Creed, he's not seen the man tucked in the corner. And the plant has been stopped. Kenny actually hopped himself out of the window there. ITV. Feels like they've used almost... Oh dear, oh dear for ITB. They've dumped in all of their utility. There's no Yings left. There's no fire left from Noah. What do they have? And Kenny still on that same repel, but G2 can just sit still, play passive. Because ITB there. Noah, he's been stood outside the big window for a long time now. Benja, second kill on the round. Easy as you like for Alamau. Shutting Noah down as he sprints through. Will be full white flash, but Kenny, he got a long ways to go here. Gets the glimpse, goes for the hop in. Taken out, open with the rotate up there. So there is an option for that, but 
ITB, are they just going to try and push the site here, Demo? This is risky stuff once again. They don't even know that Ben just tucked in behind Freezer. The call comes in, but it's a little bit too late. Looking like they're going to full send and commit to this. Full wide flash there, but Virtue activates the glasses. Shuts Creed's down. Picks up a second with the SMG 12. Look at him go! Back to back. Packers like to win. ITB have already went against the, the curve, and they've been able to take a win on that basement defense. I won't make this easy for them. Or against that basement defense, should I say. It looks like they're having a few issues here against G2 and this meeting hold. So most of them are just outside. They're just trying to see if they can get some picks, but they themselves are getting picked off one by one. Uno wins his engagement. There's Benji wins one against Kenny. ITB outside looking for kills, and they themselves get killed with no refrags whatsoever. Benger continuing where he's left off from previous rounds. Seven and two right now. Round number four. Aza. Okay. As we know, the pistol is devastating at destruction. Of course, the advantage is that you know where they are as well. Aza. He's going to kick things off for the kill over onto Uno. Noah. Going to be tracking Virtue at the moment. That one just running out there. So they will know that he's in pit. And that's probably going to be next on the hit list for Azza here. That kill onto Uno was his first of the game. I do like Noah going below using that pistol. It has, uh, you know, high caliber bullets, so it can rip away the flooring with ease. And it just puts the guys inside of kids under a lot more pressure. Oscar, a great repel. They didn't hear him repel up, and he gets a freebie. Benja trying to stave off anyone going in through the double window. There's someone knocking on the window. It's going to be the Deimos. Oscar finds yet again another kill, and Ben just swings into pit. Such confidence, and finds that kill. It's him and Doki up against three. Now it's just down to Doki. As Noah finished off Benji, but they know exactly where Doki is. This one, this turtle is going to be big for them. Still having, of course, that warden alive. Virtue is going to play big in towards that pillar and can try and hold on the E box and, of course, the stairs if needed. And this is where, yeah, the Yings are going to be much better now that you've. I dealt with some of the utility and get the Candelas going in, but as long as Virtue's alive, he is the man to watch. Kenny trying to get a bit of value out of that Ying. Virtue finds one before fall in Doki there with a direct trade, though. Azra and Kenny, they've got a long way to go here. Azra's going to find one, but he's got the shotgun, so he's a bit limited here, but it's going to be perfect for the level of engagement he's taking. They get a kill, you know, no one from G2 has looked towards those doorways, and we'll see if hiding that cap can is going to pay off. Well, the Razor Bloom has gone off. The early warning system has worked. And there we go. We see a Cap Can Kill come in and a Razor Bloom too from the traps. We love to see it. Finding that level of confidence. It's a good time to get it as well. When you're on the defense, you've got to play with confidence. Benja, hello. Wow. From below. But even then, that's going to be tricky to do. You see, there's the Cade plot. Alamo, though, does find Creed. The player is going to try and put pressure onto that one. On in, Oscar. He's going to be in a real hot situation very soon as the players rush up those white stairs, trying to get a shot over onto Flores outside. Uno going to get caught with a flash in hand. That's now the diffuser, but he can't make the rotation. He could be stuck here, but no, his team come to the rescue. Noah ready and waiting to take out that player at the top of white. Azza, he knows where Virtue is. It's a two versus three, but when you know where one of them is, you can make calculated risks. Virtue has to try and push up. Pistol in hand, makes it work, takes Azza down, levels things up. Doki has come to his aid, just hanging inside of Trophy there. Noah now the next in the hot seat. Doesn't want to go up against that pistol. He knows how devastating it can be. Can Oscar find one from the other side? No, no but taken out. Goes for the aggressive oh. swing, but look at... If they like what they see, they might just try and go for this, but Grease with the backstab. He's going to pick one up beautifully. Oscar there with the trade. Alamau shut down. Hopping into Green Window now for years. Uno, he's going to make his way into the site and be gifted a freebie. That's his third on the round here. Takes Noah down. Two versus two. 40 seconds left. Kenny upstairs. Oscar inside a meeting. Both pretty split up from one another at the moment. Oscar could do worse than just try and hold the angle, and he will do so. Uno gives himself away there, and Virtue not in position to try and refrag that back. Still knows there's a player upstairs with the diffuser down on the ground. He tries to send the ram out through. Not well, anything. We'll see how he fares here. Noah, speaking of size, going to be peeking up there with the ACOG. Takes Uno down. Benja 
direct trade. We're starting to see the Candela sent in now as Alamau sends one down electrical and then repositions himself toward laundry. Everyone on the side of G2 has a big job to do here. Because they're a man down, they cannot afford to make wow. any mistakes. And look at him go. Noah grabs one, but Doki, he sweeps through. He's going to have to find a couple more, though, as we're two versus two now. Moving down that highway as a great free fire. Doki shuts another down. One versus one. Hit. Kenny doing his best to try and hold on here. He's going to use some smokes to try and deter the push through that master door. Virtue is going to take a good portion of damage. There's a lot coming in here for Kenny to deal with. He's going to get saved. The Toxic Babe is going to do the damage for him. Noah, he doubles down. Alamar goes for the hop in, but it's a C4 pre-placed. Two kills for Kenny on the round, making a double uno. Everything ready to pick this final kill. 44 seconds. Oscar's dropping the GG. Oh We're seeing the smokes words. coming out. He's right, though. You know, it's... It's possible, but it's extreme. Meeting, looking up through the hatch, just trying to shoot anything that he can. Great headshot over onto Noah. Just seconds remaining. Ten seconds left. Time starts to become a bigger and bigger factor as this draws on.